Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan Jenkins from Steel Camel. Some people call me Professor Dan. Down here in Tampa, Florida today. And we are going to talk to you about solving the problem of moisture in your airlines. Or in particular, we're going to talk about clean, dry air in your air compressor so you don't screw up your paint job, you don't mess up with your tools, you don't damage your, uh, your processes due to moisture. So some of our customers that we deal with are auto body. We deal with a lot of air tool guys, cabinet shops, uh, cr uh, crane mechanics, so very expensive impact wrenches. They don't want water in their tools. We do some stuff with plasma cutters. And recently we're getting involved in circuit boards. So anybody who's spraying and they have moisture sensitive devices or moisture sensitive coatings like Cerakote, and you want to get the water out, this is what we're going to talk about today. So why do you need clean, dry air? Again, one, improved spray pattern. So if you're doing high gloss, or you're doing brilliant colors, or you have metal flake, you need to get clean, dry air. And again, damage tools. The moisture that gets in your tools is the electrolyte, causes the corrosion, causes the gum up, causes the problems. So what have people been doing traditionally about dry air? Let me share with you. So the one, as you can see, most people are familiar with these. These are called rocks. They crush them up, they put them into beads. Some people call them silica sand, silica gel beads. Okay, they're basically a rock that's eight million years old. And the water basically sticks to it. And then when it's saturated, it will drip off. Those are called beads. Been around a long time, they work temporarily, but when they saturate, the water passes through, ruins your paint job. The other method that a lot of people use is this kind of stuff. Basically a roll of paper. It's a good absorbent, but when it saturates and plugs up, basically it's there's nothing left and the water passes through, damage your product, and you're basically left with a soggy roll of paper towels. Not too good. So today I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about steel camel, steel camel technology. And I'm gonna show you this glass of water, and I'm gonna to talk to you about expanding polymers. And you'll see this will expand like a diaper. Okay, and already you can see it's expanding and it's growing and in about 10-15 seconds that will be dry as a bone. Here we go, it's already dry. It is a polymer, it absorbs water, holds it and doesn't let it go. And as more water comes in, you'll see it expand. As you can see, it's expanding. And now we have expanding polymer technology, which is the crutch and the heart and soul of steel camel technology. So we have that powder in this paper, in this filter paper, which is inside the filter. And let me just briefly talk to you about the paper. So we got a mesh, we got a fiberglass that catches the debris, catches the particles, catches the sediment, okay? On the back, we have certified paper that holds it all together. As you will see, we have really deep pleats, so we hold a lot of water. We actually hold about two and a half times more water than most traditional filters. Okay? That's very important, so you don't have to change your filter all the time, and you know you have the capacity to get through these big jobs. Okay, so that's the filter paper technology, and what's really, really nice about it is at the end, it will choke. It will swell like the Pillsbury Doughboy, okay? and it will alert the operator like, hey, we're at, end of, nearing the end of our life of our filter, and we need to change it so we don't mess up our filter job, our paint jobs, don't screw up any circuit boards, and don't damage our tools. So I want to tell you a little bit about the steel camel setup. That right here. So traditionally, for some people, we use what's called a water trap and a, reg, uh, a regulator. We run this one runs below 60 psi, and the air comes through here. It goes spins through circulates and the big droplets will fall to the side and then fall to the bottom and just drain it out. It's called a water separator, okay? Do a really good job of getting the bulk water out, but don't do a good job of getting the small droplets out. This is where steel camel gets in. We get the small droplets out. And on this end, for the sophisticated guys, the Cerakote guys, guys who are spraying circuit boards, they really want to know if they got moisture in their issue, in their system, this is called a moisture indicator, and it'll give you a little assurance that you're not getting any water in your system. So if you see a little water here, it's time to change the filter. 
So I'd like to demonstrate a little bit about how we work. So I'm gonna have air compressor hooked up to this line, and I'm gonna spray. And you're gonna see water, hopefully you can see that, it's full of water, full of water. Now we're gonna close the valve and open up the steel camel one. And we're gonna spray. steel polymer inside the filter is capturing any water and not letting it pass through. So in a nutshell, steel camel technology improves your spray pattern and reduces damage of your tool. We really thank you for watching. Again, my name is Dan. Some people call me Professor Dan. You can find more about us at steelcamel.com or give the office a call 813-877-4665. We'll leave some links down below. So thanks again for watching. Steel Camel, get you some.